how to register and verify your website to use Google Search Console, formerly known as Webmaster Tools. In this video session, I'm going to quickly and easily show you how you can use the Search Console as in verify your site using domain verification method. And in the upcoming short video session, I'll show you the URL prefix method. When you're logged into your Google Search Console, the drop-down menu on the left-hand side, you have Add Property. Let's add property. And here, let's place our domain. Our domain is without HTTP, all that stuff. Just the plain top-level domain. Let's press Continue. Here, Search Console will give us some information here. We can press on the links. As we can see, we can add text record, which is recommended. Or we can actually select see name record. Let's select that. As we can see, things have changed. I'll quickly show you both of them. Let's copy the Google site verification. All you need to do is find your zone editor which is your DNS zone editor on your web hosting. Typical cPanel looks like this. You can press on the zone editor. I'll show you a different setting here. as a different web host. Let's imagine DreamHost. Adding a record for your DNS is the same whether you're using cPanel or whether you're using a different DNS setting options here. Let's add record. Here, we need to select text record. Let's add. And here, the value is the key that um, Google Search Console has given us. Now, for my option, here I can leave things at default. And let's add record. We've just added a text record. Then I can verify. Let's select the CNAME option. Here, we can basically do the same thing. Add a record, but this time select CNAME option. Let's add that. Here, as we can see, we've got the host, which is this. Destination, which is this. So I can copy the destination first. Points to... This is the destination. C name label host. Let's copy. And host goes in there. And then I can actually modify time to live or add more, depending on your um, web hosting account. Okay. And at this moment, I can add record. So basically, I've shown you two different options. Whether you want to select C name record or a simple text record and then it's just a matter of selecting either one let's press verify at this moment it may take a bit of time for verification to occur because dns has to propagate on internet so we can say okay for in this example let's select c name to see what happens let's in fact, it's going to do the same thing. Why is this? Because it takes a bit of time for DNS records to update on Internet. We can select Verify Later. And if you want to speed up the process, depending on your web hosting, you can actually propagate. As in, refresh your DNS. Another thing you can do, I'll quickly show you that as well. You can use a web proxy to request your website using different servers. So that is how you register and add your website to use Google Search Console using the domain verification method. In the upcoming video session, I'll show you the URL prefix method as well, just in case that may be of interest for some website owners. 
The difference between the two is if you use a domain verification option, then if you're using subdomains and everything, will be shown under just one property. But if you use URL prefix option, then whatever the URL you place and then verify, you'll only see reports for that URL only, which means it won't include subdomains. Okay? So that is how you register and verify your website using the domain verification method using DNS verification option, okay? I thank you for learning with Renkia and I'll talk with you in the next video session.